In my videos, I often relate things back to the Netherlands, and more specifically Friesland. Now, Friesland is one of 11 Dutch provinces and has its own flag, which is this one. West Friesland in the Netherlands isn't the only Frisian territory. There are many others, including East Friesland and North Friesland, both now in Germany, with their own respective flag. However, people wanted a flag to represent all of the Frisian countries. Now, this flag was designed by the Group von Auerk and proposed to the Inter-Frisian Council, but it was rejected in Instead, this one was chosen to represent the Inter-Frisian Council. Now, if we look at all of these flags at once, you will notice that they have one thing in common, and that is this symbol. Many people, when I show them the Frisian flag, they think that this symbol is a heart, a love heart, but this is not the case. In fact, it is something completely different. But if it isn't a heart, what is it? Place your bets, what do you think it's going to be? Drum roll. It is in fact a water lily. Now, it's thought that the design is based off the European white water lily or the yellow water lily, the European white variant being shown here. And as you can see, indeed, the leaves are shaped like the so-called hearts, but actually water lilies on the Frisian flag and on the various Frisian flag designs. The leaf design has several different names depending on which language it's being referred to in. So in the West Frisian language, they are called Pompebled, whereas in German, they're called Seeblatt. In the Sertaland Frisian, region or Sailtersk as it's called, they are called Popskenblade, and in Danish they are called Sörblöde. Now the West Frisian flag obviously has seven of these Pompebläder, as they're called in Frisian, and this historically is thought to represent the Son Ceylonen, which translates to the seven sea countries. Now the seven sea countries are initially thought to be Westfriesland, Westergo, Ostergo, Hunzingo, Fievelingo, Emsingo, and Jeverland. However, this doesn't really hold up because there are far more sea countries than there are Pompebled on the flags with various other areas being included. So it's thought that perhaps seven was just the number that was used to signify many rather than that there were actually seven of the sea countries in the Frisian territories. Now, we see that the coat of arms of the Counts of Tecklenburg, the oldest example being found around 1200, contains several of these Bompebled on them, which shows that it's quite an old symbol already. And actually, if we go even further back, we can see that there are several cities in Germany currently who still have Bompebled in various shapes and sizes and um, quantities on their various coats of arms, such as in Essen, Löhne, Tecklenburg and Ladbergen. Now, if we go to the Netherlands, to the neighboring province of Groningen, we also see that they have a similar flag. Now, Groningen is the area in the Netherlands that divides Friesland, West Friesland, from East Friesland. And Groningen, indeed, outside the city, also used to be a Frisian-speaking, culturally Frisian area, which is referred to as Ormeland. Now, Ormeland has a flag which looks very similar to the Frisian flag, except there are more Pompebled on there of various designs, which can be shown like this, or sometimes like this. So that's another area outside of Friesland, where in the Netherlands you find Pompebled. Now, a very interesting one is that this is actually the coat of arms of Denmark, and although they really do look a lot more like love hearts, they are, in fact, also Pompebled on the Danish crown. And if we go back to around about 1190, the seal of King Knut VI of Denmark is the oldest example of Pompebleds which can be found. As you can see, there are lions which are still found on the modern variant of the Danish coat of arms, surrounded by lots of Pompebled. They're not just really horny. Now, I got excited and thought that this was Knut the Great of the North Sea Empire. This is actually one of his descendants further down the line of the House of Estridsen. But it just goes to show that Denmark at this time, a very powerful nation, having all of these Pompebled on the flag shows the real connection between the Frisians and the Danish and the rest of the peoples in Europe at the time. So essentially that's why they're on the Frisian flag, on the Danish coat of arms, the coat of arms of the people of Tecklenburg, and the fact that they aren't hearts, but water lilies, and also why they are in my little design, which I've started putting in the corner of all my videos, with my obviously the Pompebled, my logo, one of the logos that someone designed for me very kindly, and the Northumbrian flag. So, thanks very much for watching. This has been a History with Hilbert video about the secret symbolism behind the Pompebled, and if you didn't know what it was. So basically, that's all there is to know about the bump bled. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you will tune in again soon for some more secret symbolism and other things on the channel. And thank you very much for watching.